In this video, let's look at some mind blowing use cases of GPT-4 Vision. So recently OpenAI introduced this particular model along with GPT-4 to analyze image inputs provided by the user, right? So uh, for this, you need chat GPT plus subscription and you need to select default GPT-4 model, okay? So once you do this, I just wanted to upload this image of an formula and I said explain the formula in the above image. Okay, so it says certainly this formula in the image represents the probability density function of the normal or Gaussian distribution. Okay, which is correct. And then it goes on to explain that in a very simple way. Okay, mu is mean, sigma is standard deviation and so on. Okay, then I can ask it for you know, can I get Python code for the above? So here it gives a Python function that implements this particular PDF of normal distribution. Okay, the probability density function of the normal distribution. Okay, so here is the code, right? So this is quite interesting now that you can upload pictures of formulas and ask GPT-4 or chat GPT with vision to explain it. Okay, so this was very cool. Now let's go to another use case where, you know, I wanted to explain a particular meme. Okay. So I uploaded this particular image and most of the multi-model uh, models which are available currently are failing for this image as per my experience. Okay. So here I said, explain this meme. So it says this meme humorously tries to depict the perceived complexity of AI by the general public versus its underlying simplicity in its fundamental form. That's exactly, you know, what I expected for this image. Maybe this image is already present in the training data. You never know. Okay. But then it goes on to explain, you know, what uh, this particular uh, in the first frame, second frame, what it is, right? And it says underneath the AI label, we see a simple flowchart or pseudo code with basic if then else statements, which are fundamental building blocks of programming. The, the joke or message is that underneath all the hype and mystique surrounding AI, the basic building blocks are simple conditional statements. So this is exactly what I expected for this particular meme. Okay. So then I uh, put another meme, right? 500, 5,000 years of accumulated human knowledge chat GPT, right? Again, it says this meme employs comedic exaggeration to comment on the vast knowledge embedded within models like ChatGPT. Again, probably this picture is already present in the training data. You never know. But the explanation is very good, right? With the other multi-model models like Blip2 or say uh, with uh, models like uh, what I've tried before, uh, your uh, Idefix or uh, Flamingo, right? I uh, never got proper response for these two images of memes, okay? Then I wanted to try out another use case where I upload a photo of, you know, uh, uh, what do you call, a label description, right? Behind a medicine bottle, okay? That is this particular image, right? So here you have different uh, text and here you have different quantities of this particular contents over here. So here it does, I ask what are the ingredients in this image? It says that uh, the image lists the composition of a product with each ingredient followed by its quantity per 10 gram. Okay, whatever this explanation. It does very good OCR over here, right? Of this text over here. For example, you have this text which is kind of curved over here, right? Or say this particular text, right? So if you go over here, you can say that it has done a very good job of this, uh, you know, uh, what do you call OCR over here, right? So it has got excellent OCR capabilities. That's what, um, you know, I found out over here. Then I tried another one, which is a much better image. Okay. But slightly smaller over here. So I asked for this particular image, another tablets, uh, you know, um, contents basically, what are ingredients present in this image? Uh, there were some format issues, so I had to change the format of the image so because initially it's uh, said that I cannot help because the image format is different or something. Then I changed it to an appropriate PNG format or a JPEG format and I uploaded this image again. And here it says displays the composition of Supradine tablets, a type of multivitamin supplement. So it has understood that from, uh, you know, the contents over here, right? And uh, it tells about the different, 
you know ingredients which are present over here okay again does a very good job on ocr and it says uh, this is a tablet which contains a mix of essential vitamins and minerals so then i just wanted to continue and i said that okay i'm allergic to a particular content right can i have this tablet then it infers that yeah this particular content is present in this tablet and it says probably you shouldn't have it but consult with your healthcare professional okay so the next use case was i uploaded a picture like this of a phone right an iphone and then i asked like what is the charging port present okay what is the charging port present over here so it says the image shows a usb type c charging port probably with the latest iphones you have this type c type cha um charging port right but then i asked like another question follow up question like what kind of screw driver should i use to remove the screws in this above image basically these two screws and if you know apple apple has pentalobe proprietary screws right so it says based on the image the screws on this appear to be small typically found on smartphones and typical ele electronics so for this you require either a phillips cross head or a pentalobe these are the types of screw heads okay so you would require these kind of phillips precision screw driver or you might if it is an apple device you require this to ensure you use the right tool i would recommend closely examining the screw head otherwise as the wrong tool may end up damaging the screws very good response in fact over here okay so this is another use case right where you have daily equipment and other things and you want to understand which screws to use or things like that okay right then i uploaded this picture of a car and i said that can you identify the car make and model it has actually identified that this is a tata nexon which is again very good right then i asked which year this model was released here it said that from 2017 it has been released but you know it was not able to say that this is a 2023 model okay but yeah it has identified the car make and model okay then i asked another question by uploading a picture of a cycle where i said that how can i adjust this particular seat right how can i increase the seat height so then it gives me the procedure of how um, you know you need to put it on a stand and then you have to loosen the seat clamp right maybe if i had put a detailed picture over here like their use case on their uh, website right um on their blog i would have got a more specific response but still the response is quite good over here most modern bikes have a quick release lever if uh, open the lever right otherwise there will be a bolt and you need to adjust the bolt right uh, so you can open the lever and you can adjust the height again very good response right so till now uh, all these use cases are really mind blowing in terms of the accuracy and in terms of the response which this model generates based on the images okay i wanted to try out another image where i put this image of a cute little dinosaur and i said like my son likes this character can you create a bedtime story right then it actually creates a nice little story of dino starry adventure it identifies this is a cute green dinosaur in this image and then it creates an interesting small story over here right about uh, you know the dinosaur named dino and the starry sky how a star fell from the sky and how dino helped the star back into the sky right put it back into the sky very interesting okay then i put an image of again a uh, uh, kind of an image about svm concepts over here and i said explain the concepts and it clearly identified that this is the core concept of support vector machine what are the data points over here what do they mean what are hyperplanes what is margin what is support vectors very good explanation in fact okay so you can use this for education right you can upload pictures of your concepts and then you can ask a gpt4 with vision for explanations okay then i took out a menu photograph of a popular restaurant okay mtr in bangalore and said like okay what food items are served over here okay so here if you look at this text it's quite challenging because of the reflection and other things present in this image but it still does decent ocr over here i would not tell exceptional there are some errors for example this mangalore buns becomes mango uh, you know mango buns right so yeah up to you know yeah some ocr errors over here okay but it still identifies the items okay and i you know it identifies there are several beverages also over here but then i found out one kind of a hallucination over here okay so it says that lastly there is a mention of rajesh meal okay there is no rajesh meal over here there is a meal 
I don't know from where it got that word over here. I don't see that anywhere in this particular image. Okay. So yeah, a bit of hallucination over here, but still it does a decent job of identifying things. Okay. Then I asked like, you know, I put a photograph of this dish, Palak Paneer, and I asked what is this dish? And you know, again appears to be Palak Paneer. Probably it is present in the training data for sure. Right. Now the question is, if you look at all these images, a lot of images are from the internet. And GPT-4V has been trained on, I believe, a lot of images on the internet. Looks like that, right? Uh, okay, so I, I again put a food dish and I said, can you identify this dish? This is actually Neer Dose. So it says, yes, this dish image appears to be Neer Dose. Okay, uh, what is that dish? And you know, this word comes from Tulu, uh, where Neer stands for water in Tulu. So it does very good job over here. I pulled out another dish from the same area, right? And I said, can you identify this dish? Okay, there is a typo over here. It says that this appears to be patiri, a traditional thin pancake made from rice flour from the Malabar region of Kerala. I said, yeah, this is not that dish, but a dish of Dakshina Kannada, which is a district in Karnataka, right? Then it says, based on this location, it should be kadabu, a sweet kadabu, right? So, which is again correct. It didn't say sweet kadabu, but it says kadabu with different fillings, quite close to it, okay? So with a little bit of context and an image, it does even better job, okay, of identifying things, right? Then, uh, you know, I just took a photograph of a meal and then I said, you know, can you estimate the, um, you know, calories in this plate, okay? So it identified things like brown rice or red rice over here, it identifies vegetables, it identifies paneer or cheese, I eat curry or gravy under the vegetable does a very good job of identifying these things, right? And it gives an approximate calories and it says it's difficult uh, for a precise measure. You need to list out ingredients and their quantities and then I can calculate. Okay, but still identification is quite good over here. Okay. And then I tried out with a medical prescription to see if it can detect handwriting. Okay, so this is a prescription over here. Right. So and, uh, you know, I asked it like, can you decipher this prescription? Okay, so here it says there are some mistakes over here. Okay, um, that's what I've seen. So right knee pain. So if you look at this knee pain, you have left greater than right. It should be interpreted like that. Bilateral. Okay, so this is bilateral knee pain. So it is kind of missed that out over here. Right, associated since one year. Um, you know, it is actually aggravated since here, and uh, you know, difficulty in activities of daily living, which is correct. So this is DM plus HTN uh, hypertension plus so diabetes plus hypertension, which it has extended, um, which it has identified correctly, right? Then it says right knee virus plus. Okay, so where did that come from? Okay, right knee virus plus. Um, you know some other term over here. Uh, right knee virus plus. Okay, tendrom tenderness range of motion. Okay, tenderness. Okay, rom. Okay, painful range of motion. Okay. So it has done a decent job over here, but yeah, it can misinterpret certain text also. Okay. This is not really poor handwriting from a clinician, but you have really poor handwriting as well. So it might work or might not work in those cases. Okay. So these are some of the use cases, which I have tried with, uh, you know, GPT-4 with vision for which you need chat GPT plus subscription to try out. I find it very accurate, very useful, and I'm kind of find its capabilities insane at present. Okay, maybe it's been trained on a lot of images, but it does a really good job. Okay. I haven't tried out certain use cases like, you know, putting a picture of wireframes and then getting code out of it. Right. And things like that. Maybe I'll create another video where I try out things like that, but I'm very impressed by the capabilities of GPT-4 with vision. And it is really, it gives tough competition to say Google Bard or any of the other, uh, you know, Anthropic Cloud or any of the other models currently. Okay. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another.